Chris Cowley. Fan cams. Club news. Transfer news. Spurs Chat Podcast. Match previews. Legend interviews. Spurs women. Press conferences. Covering everything. Tottenham. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. So I am on my way home today from Singapore. Of course, I've spent uh, four days in Australia, four days in uh, Thailand and three nights here in Singapore. I've absolutely loved the trip. It has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, seen two games. Should have been three, but of course we are in monsoon season and the game in Thailand uh, was cancelled. Of course, it was heavy rain. The ball wouldn't even bounce on that pitch. Um, but it's been a good trip. I've really, really enjoyed the trip personally. Um, I think it would be better, if I'm completely honest, if Spurs did the pre-season in one country because all this travelling for the players, all this travelling for some of the fans um, who went to all of the games, it's a lot to take in. It's very tiring. And of course, you know, like South Korea, I saw a lot of South Korea last year. Uh, because we were in one place, um, but this time around, three games, or two in the end, uh, but three games uh, should have been um, in three different countries. So a lot of travelling for the players. Of course, the players have worked hard during uh, this summer tour. They've been doing double training sessions a lot of the days, and of course, on top of all the travelling as well. Um, but. I am excited about um, the football under Ange Postacoglu. Of course, we've got that real taste against West Ham United. I don't know if you can really count uh, the game last night against uh, Lion City Sailors because, of course, um, the quality of opposition, without being disrespectful, um, a number of the locals here in Singapore actually said um, that the Lion City Sailors are, are like the equivalent of a League Two side or a conference side. So. Um, I do think it's great though for Richarlison last night to get the hat-trick. He needs goals and uh, he was absolutely delighted to get the hat-trick and absolutely delighted to pick up uh, the trophy and of course won the uh, Man of the Match award as well. But the transfer window, I know it's open until the 1st of September. This trip again underlines that we need centre-backs, we need defensive reinforcements and real quality ones at that. Uh, because of Ange Postecoglou and the type of football that he does play, I think it is just so important that we bring in quality centre-backs. Not just any old centre-backs. These have got to be top quality centre-backs um, if we want to compete uh, for a European spot um, you know, for next season, to play European football the following season. And you know, give Ange Postecoglou the tools that he needs. Um, we've got two pre-season friendlies left. Uh, Shakhtar Donetsk Saturday week at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium um, followed by um, the Barcelona away trip just two days later. It will be interesting to see what Ange Postacoglu does in terms of players playing because this trip, although we only played two games, Hunmin Son only played 45 minutes. Harry Kane a combined 90 minutes, you know, two lots of 45 minutes uh, in both the games West Ham and uh, Lion City Sailors. So at some point, I think Ange Postecoglou is going to need to, um, perhaps in the Shakhtar Donetsk game, perhaps that first half, um, it will be more or less the team that he will be thinking about playing against Brentford, because of course the Premier League season will then only be two weeks away. Um, but also interesting, who is going to go out the door? Because Pape Matassar, um he was linked with a move away from Spurs, either permanently or on a loan. He has been one of the best players, in my opinion, uh, during uh, this tour here. Uh, Giovanni Lo Celso, it was heavily expected um, that he was going to go out the door. Um, lots of clubs were interested in signing him. Ange Postacoglu seems to be very complimentary about him. Um, he has played extremely well during the two sets of 45 minutes that he has played uh, in the two games during this tour so far. Um, Perisic, another one who has played well. Um, he was meant to be going out the door this summer, so it's going to be really interesting. But Spurs do need to 
uh, trim down the squad. And it has been said by many journalists that you know up to 10 players could go out the door this summer. So it'll be interesting to see who, who, who will actually go. Harry Winks is the only player that Spurs have sold so far. Um, but the transfer window for me this summer is absolutely key. I know that we're going through a rebuild um, and I know it's going to take time. Um, but give Ant Postacoglu a good start. Give him a good start. Give him a chance. Um, and then, of course, we've got the Harry Kane situation as well. Will Harry Kane be a Spurs player You know, come the 2nd of September? Personally, my gut says that Harry Kane is going to stay this season and I think he will see out his contract. And then I think he will leave on a free transfer next summer. Um, I've changed my mind a few times on, on what I think of the Harry Kane situation. Uh, it's going to be a difficult one, but I think if, if the club are thinking about selling Harry Kane, and they are going to sell Harry Kane, it needs to be done as soon as possible. In, in my opinion, it probably should have been done before this tour. Um, but there's a lot of conversations to be had there you know, with, with that situation. Um, but let me talk about my time here, or in Australia. You know, so, certainly one of the um, highlights for me, holding the koalas, feeding the kangaroos, meeting the many wonderful people in Perth, Australia. Um, lots of people have come up to me stating that they enjoy this channel and they enjoy the Spurs Chat podcast and they've been very complimentary about me and very complimentary about a number of the regular guests that we have on the Spurs Chat podcast. So many thanks for that. Um, Australia was really good. Um, it rained heavily um, during the game against West Ham and after got absolutely drenched. Um, but of course it's winter. Uh, enjoyed seeing the mural there as well with uh, Hunmin Son on there and Richarlison and uh, Ant Postacoglu. Um, then of course went on to Thailand. Um, Rooney and Jason were extremely, uh, well they were, they were fantastic. They, they showed me all of the sights around Thailand and uh, absolutely loved it there. It was a really, really good trip and I wish I'd have had more time there. Um, same here in Singapore, I wish I'd have had more time because there is so much to do, so much to see. Um, but once you um, plan to go to the training sessions, as I did, and once you plan to go to the games, of course that's what I'm here for, um, you don't have much time uh, to do anything else because you know, you're, you're traveling and uh, you want to, well, I certainly do want to keep up with all the Spurs news as well. Um, but it's been wonderful and I would love to go back to all three countries at some stage. Uh, of course, Australia was a very, very long flight uh, to only go there for four days. Um, and football being taken up by two of them and uh, of course traveling either side didn't really get that much time to, to do very much but the wildlife park that I went to was absolutely brilliant feeding the kangaroos and uh, holding the koalas that was a real great experience so if you do ever get the chance to do that do that highly recommended um, as I say Thailand was absolutely brilliant uh, went to uh, the King's Palace uh, went to a lot of the other sites tried some amazing food at Scorpion, can't believe I've done that. I, I look back at that video and I'm thinking, who, who on earth is that who done that? Crazy stuff, crazy. Uh, wouldn't ever do that again. <laughs> um, Singapore here has been absolutely brilliant. Um, Dustin and Karen, big shout out to them. They took us for dinner um, straight after the training session, tried many uh, different foods, Asian foods, and uh, oh, what an experience. The skewers, the prawns that I've eaten. I know a lot of people are laughing and taking the mickey at the moment at the amount of prawns that I've eaten but the food um, in some of these countries particularly uh, Thailand and, uh, and Singapore here um, have been absolutely wonderful um, love the food here um, love the people the hospitality uh, the greeting and as I say the uh, the friendliness of all the people here is absolutely amazing and I thought the same in South Korea last year um, the people are just so welcoming they're, they're, they're very interested in what you do and uh, I love that, I absolutely love that. So absolutely love my time here um, in Singapore, Thailand and Australia. Anyway, I, I can't thank all of you guys enough for watching all of the content and uh, all of the feedback that you've given me these past um, couple of weeks. It's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, thanks so much for your support. Um, I will see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.